In this Python tutorial, we will design a GUI application where we can select and update a table in Microsoft SQL Server. The application created with Python Custom Kinter contains entry, button, and label objects. After entering the table name and ID, the data is displayed in the label object when the select button is pressed. For example, let's update data number 4. I will change the first name and last name values. When the update button is pressed, the information that the data has been changed is displayed in the label object. By clicking the select button, we can see whether the data is updated or not. We will redo the application with you. To support us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. I will use the PODBC library to connect to Microsoft SQL Server. I can transfer PODBC library with this code. I will use the custom Kinter library to create the GUI application. I can transfer the custom Kinter library with this code. I import PODBC and custom Kinter libraries. I set the window view to system. I set the window color to blue. I create a variable for the window. I adjust the window size using the geometry function. I edit the window title. I use the main loop function to prevent the window from closing suddenly. I created an empty window. I will add entry objects one by one. First, I create an entry object for the table name. I send the window variable and text values to the entry function. I add the object to the window using the place function. I added the entry object for table name to the window. I will create an entry object for the ID. I am making the necessary arrangements. I added the entry object for the ID to the window. I will create an entry object for first name. I am making the necessary arrangements. I added the entry object for the first name to the window. I will create an entry object for last name. I am making the necessary arrangements. I added the entry object for last name to the window. Now I will create the select and update buttons. First, I create the update button. I send the window variable, text, task function and color values to the button function. I add the object to the window using the place function. For now, I define the task function with pass. I added the button I created for update to the window. Now I will create a button for select. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. I'm creating the task function with pass for now. I added the button I created for select to the window. Now I will create a label object to display the data. I send window variable, 
text and font values to the label function. I add the object to the window using the place function. I made a simple syntax mistake in the font value. I am making the necessary arrangements. I added the label object to the desktop window. Now I will edit the select function. I use the try except structure to detect errors. I am creating a variable. I will try to connect to the database with the connect function. I set the driver option to SQL server. I will write a select query to see the data in the table. There are currently five data in the table. I can find out the server name this way. I can learn the database name this way. I will connect to the system using Windows authentication. Therefore, I set the trusted connection option to true. I am creating a cursor for the select query. I will send the select query to the execute function. I can get the values entered into the entry and ID entry objects with the get function. If there is no data, I will show a text indicating this in the label object. I can access data using a for loop. If the for loop runs, data exists. So I can set the variable to 1. I show the data in the label object using the configure function. If there is no data, the variable is 0. I am showing a message stating that there is no data in the label object. If it gets an error, I will address it in the accept section. I will show the error on the console screen with the print command. I also edit the label object using the configure function. If there is an error, there is no table. I am stating this. I will test the select button. I enter the table name and ID values. When I click on the select button, the data is shown in the label object. When I query for data that does not exist, the message there is no data in the label object is displayed. If there is no table name, it is stated that there is no table name. The select button works as I want. Now I will edit the update function. I copy the connect function required for the connection. I set the auto commit option to true. We use the commit function to make the changes made in the database permanent. The commit function will be called automatically after each execute function. I send the update command to the execute function. I can access the values entered in entry objects by using the get function.
I edit the label object using the configure function. I will address the errors in the accept section. I print the error to the console screen using the print command. I show the error in the label object using the configure function. I will try the application now. After entering the table name and ID values, I click on the select button. If there is data, the data is shown in the label object. For example, let's update the data. I change the first name and last name values. When you click on the update button, the information that the data is updated is displayed in the label object. By clicking the select button, we can see that the data has changed. Let's update a different value. We can also see in SQL Server that the data has changed. To support us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.